wave motion. Have you ever noticed what happens when some water drops fall on the surface of still water? The propagation of concentric circles on the water represents a wave motion. The role of waves in energy transfer. To understand the role of waves in energy transfer, we can carry out this simple activity. Place some dominoes to form a line of equal distance from each other, then push the first piece. When the first domino piece fell, its energy transferred to the next one. That falls down in turn, transferring the energy to the next piece, and so on. Energy transfer through the domino pieces continues, and the pieces never change position in the line. So, the wave is the disturbance that propagates and transfers energy in the direction of propagation. The concept of wave motion. To understand the concept of wave motion, we can carry out this activity. Place a glass tube horizontally and place a lit candle at one of its ends and a tuning fork and scent stick at the other end. We will notice that the candle flame starts to move. From this, we can say that when the tuning fork vibrates, the produced energy is transferred in the form of sound waves. The particles of the medium do not move from their original places during transferring sound waves carrying energy to the candle flame. So, the wave motion is the movement resulting from the vibration of the medium particles at a certain moment in a specific direction. Types of waves. Waves can be classified in two ways. One, according to the direction of vibration of medium particles relative to the direction of propagation into A, transverse waves, B, longitudinal waves. Two, according to the ability to propagate and transfer energy into A, mechanical waves, B, electromagnetic waves. First, the transverse and longitudinal waves. In the transverse wave, the direction of particle vibration is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. In the longitudinal wave, the direction of particle vibration is parallel to the direction of wave propagation. The transverse wave can be represented by this graph. The highest point called crest and the lowest point called trough. While longitudinal wave can be represented by this figure. The point of highest density and pressure is called compression. And the point of lowest density and pressure is called rarefaction. 